Hey everybody, welcome, welcome, welcome. This is a digital showroom for Anycubic and two awesome print resin printers we're gonna talk about today. The Anycubic Mono, Photon Mono 4 and the Anycubic Photon Mono 4 Ultra, which you can see both of them right here next to me. Ooh. Ah. Now, what does a digital showroom mean? Well, that means that we are going to be not just talking to you about these products, but giving you the opportunity to purchase them at any point during the stream. You're going to start seeing little, uh, little bubbles or buttons pop up down at the bottom of the screen, and you can click on those to add these items to your cart and take them home with you today, right now, during the stream. In fact, if you want, you could pop one of these into your cart right now and just leave it there. You don't have to buy it right at the start of the stream, but you know, if it seems interesting, pop it in your cart. By the end of the stream, you're like, yep, I definitely need a resin printer, which I think you probably do. Then you can just purchase it right then and save yourself the time of finding it and throwing it in the cart again. So again, those are all those buttons down here. You'll see them pop up at the bottom of the screen or in certain uh, situations, they'll be on the right side of the screen if you're on like a browser instead of mobile. So uh, you can check that out there. My name is Mikey Fadum. I'm excited to host with you today. The other thing about a digital showroom and this being live is that I am gonna be able to answer your questions, interact with you while we're talking about the products. So if you had any questions at all, feel free to throw them in a chat. I am not a super technical person. I understand how these machines work really well, but like not edge cases. So don't throw me any tech support. Don't throw me any like purchase or order issues. Uh, you can contact any Cubic's customer service or after sales su support for stuff like that. Uh, but for me personally, if you got any questions you want about the products, about the stream, uh, we'll, uh, we'll get them answered for you. So what these guides are, you may have heard about FDM printers before or, or filament printers. And we've talked about them on streams a couple of times. These two are actually resin printers. And what that means is that they can get you extremely tiny details. They can get you really intricate builds so that the models you print out are these really beautiful, exciting, uh, really detailed type of models. So if you're, if you're already experienced with resin printing or you're learning for the first time, let me know in the chat what's something you'd wanna print in resin and what's something that you might wanna reprint in resin if you've already printed it with one of Anycubic's filament printers in the past. Now remember, you can pop these guys in your cart you can hold on to them. You can purchase them at the end of the stream if you're interested. You can purchase one now if you're just like, well, I just need a resin printer. And th these are obviously the best. Uh, you could get either of these right now. Um, but stick with us live because we're also going to be doing some promo codes for some great discounts on these printers as well. So hang out and uh, let's keep going. Good to see everybody. I see a few people waving in chat. So who are Anycubic? Uh, if you're new here, Anycubic believes imagination and creativity are the sparks that drive progress and bring ideas to life, which is a really cool little motto. Um, but what it means practically is that for the past 10 years, Anycubic has been working with makers of all different shapes and sizes and levels of experience, um, you know, artists, everyday users, to help make 3D printing fun and accessible and part of your daily life. They've actually got a really cool community set up uh, on the app, which we'll look at later on the Anycubic app, where you can browse through thousands of designs that were created by Anycubic users and shared freely for you to download and print on your printers. It's pretty amazing. So, and you could see some cool stuff too. I'm gonna show you this guy that I printed out the other day, just to give you an example of the kind of things that you'll find. This is from Maker Online Marketplace. This is a, uh, an air elemental or water elemental, something like that. But you can see all the little flame details on the back there. It's really, really neat looking. I love how it just looks like it's blowing in the wind. And like, you know, I didn't have to do anything to make this look as nice as it does. No sanding, no, uh, uh, you know, polishing. It just came out of the printer looking like this and really ready to go, which is pretty incredible. 
Now that's an example of a uh, TTRPG mini. That's one of the biggest things people use resin printers for. If you go on the internet, there are thousands of companies. Um, you can see examples from one of my favorites, Loot Studios. And this distance right here looks like it might be a little smaller. You could fit an entire two liter soda bottle in here and print that out. So that's pretty amazing. And of course it comes with this touch screen that we were talking about earlier that we were help you were using to set up the machine. Um, which, right, only works if the machine's plugged in. I am the smartest man alive. <laughs> but it's a very bright 2.8-inch screen. It makes the settings and the controls and everything super easy to navigate. Uh, this is just a great printer for starting out resin printing. If you want to get in on the ground floor, you don't want to spend a whole ton of money, but you want to, uh, you want to get something that's going to produce really exciting models or really exciting prints, the Photon Model 4 is a great choice for that. Now I hear you saying, you said affordable, but you didn't say how much. Well, right now, the original price for a Photon Model 4 is $240. The, if you use the code LIVE40M4S, that's L-I-V-E, all in capitals, the letters four and zero, capital M, the letter, the number four, capital S, li, Live 40 M4S, or Live 40 Moss, if you're uh, craving Taco Bell. That will get you this for $159. It's a huge discount. It's one of the most affordable resin printers that I've ever heard of. Really, really amazing deal. And you can get it with the code Live 40 M4S. So write that down. We'll talk about it more later. You'll probably hear about it a lot. But uh, that's the code. I'm gonna check and see what y'all are saying in chat. Ah, somebody said, how much is it? Well, I just answered that. <laughs> uh, let's see. Um, yeah, I'm amazed by this too. You wanna print board game pieces, advanced camera. That's a great use for this. You know, a lot. Of, I know a lot of people who design their own board games and after your first couple of, of test plays where you're doing it with like paper clips and sticky notes that you found around your house, having something that even looks a little official really makes your game feel real. And the cool thing about this is you can print out some, something, you know, using the Maker Online Marketplace that has crazy details. You know, if, you're, if you've got a spaceship game, you can, uh, you can create a whole bunch of stuff uh, a whole bunch of really detailed spaceships based off of models that you can get for free just by using the AnyCubic app. Now this printer has what's called 10K precision. It's almost detail perfect. Uh, it has got a 105% precision increase over the Mono 2. That is, that's over 100%. Again, sorcery. The, uh, the XY axis pixel precision It'll get you to 17 by 17 um, micrometers, which means it's extremely good at pinpointing the exact right parts of the model to cure the resin so that you get exactly the supports, exactly the design that you're looking for. And the layer height can go from as high as 0.15 millimeters to as low as 0.03 millimeters. Now, layer height is what we were talking about earlier with how the build plate comes down, how much resin it leaves to get flashed. The lower your layer height, the longer your print's going to take, but the more, the more detail and the more um, security you have on it. Uh, 0 0.5 mil 0 0.15 millimeters, it'll go a lot faster, but it might you know, be a little bit less detailed. And it's the trade-off you can decide when you're making your prints. With standard resin, let me stand up for a second here, has developed this very exciting new product called High Speed Resin 2.0. You can see it here in the bottle. We'll be talking about it a little more with the Ultra as well, but this is, uh, this is, um, will allow you to, this machine to print at 70 millimeters per hour. So that's 20 more millimeters per hour uh, at high speed, which is pretty exciting. Of course, it also is resilient against bending and cracking. It produces excellent details and it's eco-friendly. All right, so 
This is the M4, the Photon, Photon Mono 4. Uh, we'll talk about the Cree cleanup process in a minute. New is cool, but thank you for asking about that. You want to print small figurines? I love that. Let's, let's all print some very small figurines. Maybe we'll get like a gnome and then the gnome's familiar and then the familiar is familiar. <laughs> I bet you could do that. Um, but do you have any questions about the Photon Mono 4? Hit me up with those in chat. I'll answer them as best I can. But we're, now we're gonna show you how to set up the Anycubic Photon Mono 4 Ultra. It's gonna be very similar. You plug in the machine and turn it on. On the screen, you're gonna choose your language and your region and connect to Wi-Fi. In the LCD screen, you hit the control and calibration tab and raise the Z-axis again by 100 millimeters. You peel off the protective film on the LCD screen and you clean it with the toolkit. And then you peel the film from the screen protector. Hold on, we're taking a longer cleaning this time. Very thorough, I like it. Oh, he's got a sticker to get up one of the little hairs. That's a good idea, that comes in the cleaning kit. All right, so you line it up with the locating holes, you squeeze out any air bubbles, and you peel off the top film when you're done. Again, little tiny air bubbles, a couple of them here and there, not gonna ruin your prints. It is very difficult to get all air bubbles out. Uh, you pull off the top film there, then you're gonna, once again, loosen those screws on the printing platform. And put it, unscrew the top, and put it onto the platform carrier and tighten it back down. And then we've got that handy dandy, dandy this can be used for leveling paper. You put that on the screen, and in the Z-axis menu, you hit the leveling button. It's gonna do some stuff and figure out how to level itself, and then you're gonna lightly push down on the plate and tighten those screws back up. With both printers, once you're done with this step, you're gonna try and slide the, print, the paper out without moving the, the, uh, the build platform. If it is extremely difficult or impossible to move, You've done it right, congratulations. Then you press the Z equals zero button and you move the platform back up. Lastly, we're gonna hit that exposure test again and just make sure that everything on the screen is exposing the way it should. If it matches the pattern that you picked out in the menu, you're good to go to install the resin vat. And you're gonna take these little screws here and tighten them back in. Now this is the, M the Mono 4 Ultra. It is a beautiful machine, just like its little brother. Uh, I will once again grab the cover to show you what it looks like with that. You can see, it kind of looks like, did anybody watch 2001 A Space Odyssey way back in the day? These kind of look like the monolith that, you know, like gives gives uh, cavemen intelligence. It should occupy a similar place in your home. Put spotlights on it, make everyone ooh and ah. It's a one box unit, which means it's minimalist, it's streamlined, it's got that future, same futuristic look as the Mono 4. Really, really beautiful in any setting. Uh, if you wanna have it in your workshop, if you wanna have it in, on your desk, in a studio, um, it, it'll fit in really anywhere. Again, we've got yellow wall, white screen, space, deep space gray body, and it all looks like it works perfectly together like it was meant to. And of course it's got the bold, the bold speed orange accent here in the front as well, which, you know, energy, speed, it's a fast printer. <laughs> uh, this one also has a touch screen, but it's bigger. It's a 4.3 inch touch screen, so it makes settings, previews, and controls super duper easy to navigate. Now, this printer normally is $320. With the same code, Live40M4S, you can get it for only $219. That's an almost, a little bit, no, a lot less than the starting price of the Photon 4, or the Photon Mono 4. So the Photon Mono 4 Ultra, you can get for less than you would get this smaller one. It's pretty, pretty cool. 
Let's see what you guys have got going on in chat. So this one will connect to the app. Yes, exactly. The Ultra will connect to the app. The regular Mono 4 unfortunately doesn't, but it's a really good, uh, it's a really good starting printer, like we were saying. It looks pretty nice. Yeah, it looks very easy, Harper. I agree. It is very easy. I've used it. So other than being bigger, what makes the Photon Mono 4 Ultra better than the Photon Mono 4? Well, we got the larger overall size. It's, uh, it's 231 millimeters by 236 millimeters by 430 millimeters versus 230 millimeters by 235 millimeters by 391 millimeters. At peak speed, we talked about the, uh, the Mono 4 having 70 millimeters per hour peak speed. The Ultra has a peak speed of 120 millimeters per hour. So your prints are gonna come out even faster. We printed similar models on both of these and it was a lot faster on the Ultra. Uh, it'll give you a smaller, more precise layer, hint, layer height, which gives you denser and stronger prints. And uh, the light uniformity on the Mono 4 is 80 to 90%. The light uniformity on the Ultra is 90%. Light intensity over here is 3,000th millionths of a watt. Over here, it's 3,500 millionths of a watt. Both of those things kind of sound like small differences, I know. But they can make your print more accurate and more detailed. Now, this also has a larger touchscreen with a more advanced and detailed operating system. Uh, you know, it's the same operating system that you see on some of the bigger Anycubic printers, the more expensive ones, like on the in filament land, the Cobra S1 uses a very similar OS. And as was asked in chat just now, this will connect over Wi-Fi and LAN with the Anycubic app, with your computers, and transfer files that way. Um, both of these machines will come with these lovely USB dongles. They're awesome. I so appreciate any 